guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are well. Happy Thursday. Today I thought it would be really fun to glow up together. I'm just, you know when you're in one of those stages where like your nails need doing, you haven't had your hair cut in what feels like forever. You've got no tan on, you're just not feeling yourself. That's currently the state of me. So I've got some little appointments booked in for this week and I thought it'd be fun to take you guys along and just have like a nice glow up inside and out sort of self love week. So first on the agenda is actually having my hair cut. So I actually think I want something. I haven't had my hair cut over a year I want to say. It's like it's not in the best, like it's in a good condition other than the ends. Like they just need chopping like, you know when it looks ratty, that's the sort of stage mat. So I'm really excited to just have like the dead ends off. And I think I wanna have, I'm really nervous, but I know that once I have it, I'll be fine. Like obviously I'm not having anything dyed, I've literally just put in for a simple cut. But I think I want some like long bangs. So I've been like pinning like inspo of like different haircuts that I like and like I just want more like texture and more like depth and body like I feel like sometimes my hair just looks very flat and it's because I've got no layering like I've for the last size I want to say like three years all I've had is just probably longer than that four years I've literally just had a simple chop like trim like I've not been having anything but all of this like you know just like body like I kind of want it want it so I think that's what we're going to go for so I'm going to run to the hairdressers now, I've got an appointment at 10, it's about quarter two, so I better leave. I'm just spraying some perfume. This is Baccarat Rouge in like the intense one, it's off TikTok. I've just got this very casual Boohoo tracksuit on. I've scraped my hair back because it's kind of greasy. So I thought the hairdresser obviously is gonna wash it and whatever. So yeah, it's scraped back. I've done my makeup just because I've got plans for the rest of the day. But yeah, I thought it'd be fun to go to the hairdressers together. We've got a nail appointment and all of that as well later. So these are the nails, but yeah, let's go to the hairdressers. I'm kind of nervous because my hair, look, if you watch me, you will know, like my hair is legit like my child. Like I love it, like it's my pride and joy. So I'm kind of scared, but I feel like I feel much better for it. So I'm just gonna do it. And then if I hate it, it'll grow out and I'll have to wear sleep buns forever, so it's fine. So literally all I had was an inch off the length. She just put it in really nice, like loose curls. And then I've just had like this section. It's not like super long, literally like we went for like pretty much jaw length and then like this bit here is a little bit short, a little bit longer, but obviously on both sides. And now we've just got this like nice like face framing. So what like we sort of went for if, you want to know what to ask for your hairdresser was like face framing long layers slash bangs but like bangs i would say are probably like maybe like here like a lot shorter i didn't really want like super short but now i've had them like i'm gonna see how i get on and like i wouldn't be against maybe having like i didn't have very prominent ones because i wanted them to still like fade into like my hair and because like the length i didn't know ever it would look weird having like long and then just like short bangs. Obviously like bangs can be like very feathered. I didn't really want like the feathering. So we went very like soft, just like to frame the face. But I was like, you've got to teach me how to style them. So what she said was like, whatever you do, like just, if you like brush them back and then just like let them fall and like they'll sort of like make their way. And I think that it'll still go up in a pony which is good. I might just have to like really secure it, which is fine, but I love it. I feel so much better. Like I just feel like it's got more like 
without really having like layers like I wasn't really like wanting like layers through the hair and like lose the length so I really really love it and she was so lovely we actually I actually knew her so it's actually really lovely but I just feel so much better now and I can't wait to like learn how to like properly style them like she said if I like style them obviously like that like they will sit like that it's just how like I decide to style them so I feel so good I feel like hair can have such a like dramatic not that it's like a dramatic haircut but like you know just to feel better about yourself so I feel like this is going to be my new personality trait now just like continuously messing I'm really happy it feels so much healthier it feels like lighter and just I don't know it just looks healthy and she said that I was like is it in good condition you know and she said that it's in really good condition but you know it was funny she said like do you wear your hair up a lot and I was like all the time like probably majority and she said like there's a bit of breakage like, at the back which will be from putting it in like tight bob and bobs tight buns or tight ponies and I was like well like that is literally what I do majority of the time. So here she is. She's a banging girl. No. So yeah. Let me know what you think. I like it. I know it's very subtle. But I feel like it's just added that bit of like depth. So I'm really happy anyway. So I'll pop back on with my next appointment. Which will probably be nails. This is how we currently are. I don't know what to go for. I don't know if to go for like an autumnal or whether to just go like classic. I don't know. But yeah, so happy with the hair. This is it from the back, if you want to know. Like I literally had like an inch off. Obviously it's curled, so it might look a little bit shorter. But yeah, I'm super happy. I feel so good. Like as soon as she did it, I was like, I've made the right decision. And now I feel like I'm going to be one of those girls like who like rolls their bangs. You know, like puts like a roller in. I can't wait. I think I'm going to start making more effort with my hair. I feel like that has been the outcome like I'm gonna I don't know do some more waves do some I don't know but yeah really happy with them hello guys it's nail time I'm actually just stuck at you know one of those drives where like there's traffic everywhere traffic lights are always on red it's one of those so we're gonna be like a couple minutes late so I thought I would just check in whilst I'm waiting for the set of traffic lights to turn green but it's biab time so I typically get biab in fills I'd say every like three weeks, sometimes four. Three is like a good number. Like I feel like the longer and healthier they get, you can go like three and a half, four. Probably wouldn't go any more than four. So I had French last time. I can't remember the colour of this. If I remember, I'll put it on the screen. But it's like a pinky. I'll add, um, what is it? I think it's unspirited by the gel bottle. But I really like this one called Dolly. And I was having it. And then Molly May posted that she had it. I think that's what. Amelia said and then it sold out or like someone posted it. I think it was Molly and like they just sold it out so yes we haven't been able to get it the last few appointments but she's got it back so I don't know if to just have that to be honest and just have like plain and then like I really liked these nails off Pinterest they were like quite plain neutral natural and then they had a little brown heart on which was kind of cute but yeah I'll see you guys in my appointment and I will show you what I decided to get and I will also show you the BTS of what I get, but this is them currently. This is the current state for a before of this hand, before of this hand. Hello, can you answer on there? Yes. Okay, right, nails are done. I'm gonna give you the details. Sorry, obviously I'm playing with Darth. But these are what I got. How like glazed are they? So what I got was the gel bottle dolly. And by the way, what I had before wasn't the gel bottle and spirited. I had glossify nude because um, that was like the closest one to this. But I think on reflection, like me and Amelia just said, I don't think it is actually that close. So I had dolly with glazed top coat. It's like a reflective like see how it's like a little bit blue there's a pink one which my mum has on which is really cute but she just got this one it's new so I was like okay we'll go for it but look how shiny they are so I wanted this last time but with the pink one that my mum has but she didn't have Donna so I was like, 
So I was like, okay, right, we'll go. <laughs> Hello guys, I don't know if I would have included that other clip because Ollie was playing with the dog and it was really annoying me. So if I didn't, here's my nails. I'll put some pics on the screen. But they're so cute, they're like a glazed donut. So the hair has kind of dropped. But I'm really excited tomorrow to like style it. They've got like very loose waves at the minute, but she told me to just like pull them back and let them like fall. So I think tomorrow I'm gonna like try and make them quite wispy. But I'm gonna take my makeup off and do a little bit of evening skincare. So I thought we could do it together because I feel like it's a really important part of like feeling good and glowing up. Oh my god, look my hair. It does not fit in the claw clip. Yeah, I feel like it's quite important, like the skincare aspect. So, hair is secure. By the way, how cute is this little cosmetic fabric? I got it from Amazon and it's going to be like my like, you know, like when you, I don't know, like today going to the hairdressers, I didn't really need a bag, but I just wanted to put like my lip balm and like it could just be like a little cosmetics bag, but so cute. I typed in Jerf Avenue cosmetic bag and that came up and it was literally... 6.99 off Amazon. I'll try and find the link and I'll pop it below. But I thought, how good is that? This is my favourite thing to take my makeup off with. Sorry guys, you just died. So I just changed the battery, put my pyjamas on. These are new ones from Primark and I'm obsessed. Also, in case I get questions, these are also Primark, but I would like to get a new pair of these because they are going a little bit discoloured. This is Sheen, but these are the pyjamas. They're like the classic, they're like the classic boyfriend pyjama. Literally 15 pounds from Primark, they're so good. Obsessed. And I got these in an extra kind of high. I have been liking to keep it very simple because I had a bit of a weird breakout after I came back off holiday. But in hindsight, I think it was probably from using a lot of like SPF and wearing like makeup every night. So I'm going in with the Nivea Soft. Honestly, this is such a simple, easy product. I mean this just like my mom's always used this and i don't know i just find that using a really simple moisturizer like morning and night is really helpful so we love that and i always try and defy the gravity because we do not want wrinkles and then i'm gonna go with the kylie skin eye cream got this on holiday well i got this from the airport and you know what i've been using this for like Long, nearly two months and I really like it. I've never been one for eye cream, but I have been really enjoying. So we're we'll going with that. And then I'm gonna go in with the Holy Grail Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. Love. Honestly, I struggle from like quite dry lip and since using this I actually haven't had dry lips it's so good I also had the glowy lip balm but I lost that to be honest I'm not very good with little products hence why I needed a new like skincare bag and then we've actually got the UK Lash Eye Lash Serum to try if you watch my weekly vlogs I was talking about how I really want to grow my lashes and I put on my story like asking about whether this product like you guys think this product is good etc like if it's worth it and a lot of you guys recommended it and then some of you i did get a few messages as well like some of you guys saying like i don't think it worked for me as well as like other people but i also think it's probably down to like how consistent you are but i am going to use it and they kindly sent me this so thank you uk lash so i'm going to try and use this every day I'm gonna take some pictures of my eyelashes like before I should take them now so I can actually com actually compare them. But if you see, like they are quite thick, but they're not very long. Like they've got not much like curl, like they're just, I don't know, very thick. You can see, but not long. So I'm gonna take a pic so I can remember how they look. Okay, right, so this isn't sponsored by the way. But this is the what it comes in and i don't quite know okay right it comes like this i haven't got a mirror one second 
I'm really excited because I really want long like lashes. You know when like you've got no mascara and they're just really long. I really want lashes like that. So I'm gonna keep myself accountable and try and use this every single day. So you literally just do that. It's one stroke above the eyelash, sort of like how you would apply eyeliner. So I've got the outer ones. And I will keep you guys updated with how I get on. I'm really excited, so. Yeah, that is all the skincare done. I was gonna tan tonight, but honestly guys, like I am just really enjoying like feeling clean. And I don't know whether I wanna go in with tan. Maybe I'll tan with you guys in the morning, but I don't know. feel like I just, sorry bless me I feel like you know you just feel nice and clean and I'm like I don't know if I want to like go to bed sticky like I feel like I've got fresh hair had a good shower this morning skincare's all done and I don't actually feel too pale so yeah I'm gonna sign off for tonight and we will continue the glow up but I love you guys good night and I will speak to you tomorrow <laughs>